det er super fedt. Altså, jeg, jeg var måske lidt bange for, at jeg ville komme til at spille de sidste tre minutter af hver kamp, og det var det. Øh, og ærligt, det, det synes jeg, det er de værste minutter i en kamp. Øh, så det er rigtig fedt, at jeg bliver brugt i løbet, af, i løbet af kampen, og jeg kommer ind. Og, altså, det, er også, ligesom, det synes jeg udvikler mere, end at man spiller de sidste minutter, fordi så er der et pres på en. Man kan ikke, man kan ikke fuck op, og hvis man, altså, hvis man fuck op, så er der konsekvenser. Øh, hvis det er de sidste tre minutter, man er foran med 25, at man så laver to tønder, hvis træk det måske. Whatever. Så det er rigtig fedt. Det giver, det giver noget mere, at det, at det er i løbet af kampen, man spiller. Well, basically, they, uh, they first need, they need to get adjusted to the league. That they, they need to be able to run our stuff the way we want to run our stuff and not, not, not kind of lose focus and get out of control and cut down on the turnovers, of course. So the one, once, once they're on the court, if they have, a, have an opportunity to shoot, they're free, like everybody has a green light if, if it's a good shot. So it's not about that, but basically just cut down on the turnovers and run the stuff like we're supposed to run the stuff. It's basically stay inside the team concept. I mean, in practices, I don't do too much leading them, but I just play really hard defense on them and make it really tough for them. So when you get in the game, it's easier for them. And when I see him doing something he shouldn't be doing, I kind of tell him the right thing to do and how to get the team together and how to tell them what offense to set up. Just little things, but I let them go in zone most of the time. And overall? Um, as I just, uh man vender sig mere og mere til, til presse, altså der er en overgang fra ungdomsbasket til, til ligabasket, og de første kampe var det lidt, okay, jeg skal bare, jeg skal bare ind i pladet, jeg skal bare få dribblet bolden op, og der galt om at ikke lave nogen fejl og sådan noget, og nu efter et par kampe, lidt mere selvtillid, og tør gøre lidt flere ting og så videre, um, så jeg synes, det går i den rigtige retning, helt sikkert. Well, Sebastian has, uh, he's has a really good head, like he's really basketball smart, he's, He's really a point guard, and you don't get too many of those young guys who actually can run the team. And he's one of them that uh, really, really smart, really makes good decisions. Of course, he's still 17. He hasn't even turned 18 yet. So he needs to work on his physical, like he uh, needs to get stronger, faster, quicker, uh, all that stuff. But basically, the when you have a good head and a great shooter, it's easy. Like a uh, you, you can you can go in the weight room. You can you can get stronger. You can get faster. But that IQ part is something that really separates him from a lot of other young players. Um, I think him his downside is being young right now. He's still learning how to do certain things, how to lead a team. But at the same time, his upside is he has experience playing with a young team, and he's pretty good. He can shoot. He can dribble. He can go to the hoop. So he has a lot of things he can do with the ball. Yeah, my expectation was to develop myself. I was going to play, but not much more than five or seven minutes, maybe. Altså, jeg har snakket med coach før, før sæsonen startede, og der snakkede vi om, at jeg nok skulle komme til at spille, men jeg er altså slet ikke i det her omfang, det er jeg slet ikke forventet på, på noget punkt.